ask you a quick question. Is aging a death sentence for your testosterone? Now, if you're a guy, I know you want to know the answer to this. The answer is actually no. Now, it's true as we age, every decade, our T levels are going to dip a bit, okay? We're not going to have the testosterone level at 60 or 70 that we had at 20. But if you make the right choices in your life versus making the wrong choices, you're gonna see a dramatic impact in how you feel and how your body's able to produce your number one hormone, testosterone, okay? Now we have three key strategies, things to focus on, things to think about that will help your body naturally produce more testosterone. Number one, eat more fats, but eat the right ones. Eat healthy, saturated fats from animal, animal products, from fish, from poultry, from steak, from eggs, stuff like that. Just avoid the trans fats, the hydrogenated fats, the chemically altered fats, the stuff that's artificial. Try to reduce, minimize, or avoid it at all costs. And number two, get more sleep and get better quality sleep at night. But the only way that's gonna happen is by reducing your stress levels a little bit. Now, I'm not talking about the big stressors in life that all of us face every day. The trouble is, and I have trouble with this personally, is it's the small stuff that gets, gets me over the top sometimes, okay? The little things, the traffic on the way to work, you know? And just the day-to-day -day stuff that all of us have to deal with, it's, there's no sense in letting that really impact us and make us negative because all that will do is inhibit our ability to rest well and fall asleep at night and wake up feeling fresh in the morning. Plus, our growth hormone, when is that most active? Well, it's released while we're sleeping, so get more sleep. And number three, get up and move. And it's as simple as that. What do I mean by that? In our work day, most of us sit for a living. Most of us, not all of us. The key to avoid this sedentary existence is to get up from your desk and move around. Go for a walk every few hours. Take a break. I don't care if it's five or 10 or 15 minutes and you know, have a big glass of water, you will have so much more natural energy just from getting up and moving your body and taking in some water. It's amazing what that will do in the long run on your testosterone levels, okay? So if you're interested in this, there's a button here and I want you to press it. And Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, just giving you some thoughts and some things to think about when it comes to testosterone and aging and how that impacts you as a man. We'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.